Since then, Wynn has gone on to host a BBC radio show. He's released an album which went to number one in the classical charts and undergone an impressive body transformation. And he joins us now. He's been drinking in my local pub, <laughs> Yates. Um, did you get recognised in Yates as the go did, prepare uh, advert? Yeah, what, still now, after your transformation? Yeah, I did, yeah, I did. And, and, and who knew that I'd say this the first thing, but not constipated today either. So oh, well, that's boring. great news. You've yeah. been trying to Megan Rossi? I haven't yet, but I could. Right, OK. And that's how we like to start every interview. <laughs> very much. Every guest to tell us the state of their gut health. That's marvellous news. It's I... the eyes, though. You'd recognise them from the yeah. eyes instantly. OK. So, you know. I instantly. don't think you're the most annoying man on TV, no. but you were dubbed the most annoying man on TV. Yeah. Uh, um, do you get recognised anywhere you go, as everywhere you go, as a go compare uh, man still? Pretty much. Now I do, since I've been myself in the adverts, you know, um, people do recognise you. In Wales, I've got a daily radio show uh, on Radio Wales I do every day, so... People know me there. You've got a TV show, so it's you know it's different in Wales, uh, but outside you know now I'll just be walking in London and people will just shout out at me or proper celeb. Yeah, they just sing it at you. They literally yeah. sing it at you, and I kind of think, oh well, I get three quid every time you sing it, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I'm just messing with you, but that'd be good, wouldn't it? Uh, and what did you think about the advert, uh, like being Marmite? Yeah, well. Um, at first, I was like, oh, my God, everybody hates me. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, uh, no, but then, don't. you know, the company made so much money out of it. And I thought, well, and the people that wrote it wrote, like, the Mash Get Smash Aliens and the, Sh and the Sheila's Wheels advert. So they were, like, advertising royalty, really. So they went, remember, annoying is another word for effective. And, you know, kids were singing it. And it's interesting now. My son made uh, a little talk TikTok in, in lockdown. And he was like, mess with me, mess with my dad. <laughs> and uh, he said to me, Dad, can you go and stick the moustache on, right? Because I had it upstairs. <laughs> and my next-door neighbour actually works on this show as a makeup artist, right? So I texted her, I said, oh, have you got any toupee <laughs> tape? She had some toupee tape. So I stuck the moustache on, and we did this TikTok. And it got, like, 7 million hits <laughs> on TikTok, right? 7 million? Yeah, but people were like... People that have grown up with it, that are, like, under 30, feel real nostalgia for the advert. You know, they're like, oh, I grew up with this guy and all of this kind of stuff. So it's, a, it's, it's different now to how it used to be when it first came out. Do you remember the first time you sang those words? At, yeah, at... totally. I was in, it was in a basement in, in East London doing the audition. And I looked at it and I thought, oh, God, I know this song, because it was from 1914. Caruso sang it, right, originally. And he went, over there, over there, did all of that, right? Uh, and uh, I thought, oh, I know this. And I just thought, yeah, OK. I remember the first time I sang it, yeah. Because they'd asked, actually, they'd asked for uh, somebody, because it was a Welsh company, so they said, it'd be great if there was the same person singing as is in the ad, fab if he's Welsh, and tremendous if he's a bit fat. And they went like this. They went, oh, we'll never find this guy. This guy doesn't exist. <laughs> Hello. Ta -da. Here I am. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> I am your guy. <laughs> but you're not just a gay compare man. I mean, you're a trained opera singer. Yeah, I trained at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. Uh, and I worked for 25 years as an opera singer all over the world, the Royal Opera House, Welsh National Opera, you know, everywhere that you could work. Uh, and, and I remember my first day, actually, at the Royal Opera House, right? This is absolutely true. I walked in. And I was so smug that I was a guest artist there, right? I was like, this is going to be amazing. They're going to love me. I walked in through the door, and the girl on the desk was from Cumbran in, in Wales. And she said, hello. And I went, oh, I'm a new guest artist. You know, it was very swanky. And she said, Royal Opera or Royal Ballet? I was like, look <laughs> at me, love. Look at me. What do you think? Have a stab in the dark on this one. I hope you went ballet. <laughs> went, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is going to look fantastic, isn't it, when I get my tutu on? Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, I was an opera singer for a long, long time, yeah. Um, do, you, do you ever wake up in the middle of the night? Like with go bear in your head, does it just like no. does it doesn't haunt you <laughs> at times? It never it... haunts. I don't mind it at all because oh. look, I would be sat yesterday talking to you if it wasn't for go compare. Okay. I wouldn't have a daily show on 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 BBC Wales, you know. Oh God, sorry, I said those words on Radio Wales that. Uh, as being part of the community, you know, especially during lockdown, everybody kind of came to the radio and they were like, this is our, this is our company. And it just became a massive show. And, you know, it's, it's on sounds and it's on iPlayer and stuff like that. But so you can listen all over the world. But it became this thing, you know, that, that I wouldn't have been able to do without having done price comparison websites. You know, a woman did come up to me once, I've got to tell you this quickly. And she goes, 
It's you, innit? <laughs> right? I was in the middle of a field presenting a programme for, uh, for on the national, International Stedford. And I went, yeah, it is me. <laughs> Thinking she wants an autograph or a selfie. And she actually said, she said, oh, I'm glad I've seen you. She said, because my daughter's just turned 17. And we're thinking about buying her a little Clio, and we wondered what the insurance would be on. Right? <laughs> and I was like, "Listen, look, I don't sell insurance, right? I'm literally in the advert, right?" And she goes, "No, I've seen you. I've seen you sell." So it was like an out-of-body experience, right? Where I hear myself saying to this woman, "Wash your postcode," right? So she tells me, and then I say to her, like a madman, I say. Are you keeping the car on the drive or on the road, right? <laughs> <laughs> we're in the middle of this field, right? In the middle of this field. And she tells me, and I said, I don't know, she's a new driver, it's going to be about £3,000. Yeah. Yeah. And she went, That's crazy. <laughs> it's only 2400 at direct line. And off she walks and leaves me standing there like an injured in the middle of this field. So, uh, yeah, hey. it's added to me. I, I know your pain. I do at least two windows quotes a day. <laughs> Trust me. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all over this stuff. I'm all over this. Stuff. We should talk. Oh, we should weird. talk. I gotta say, you look a lot slimmer now than, than on the Go Compare advert. You have had a real transformation, haven't you? How much have you lost? Yeah, I've lost. Uh... Oh, look, we're Go Comparing. Look at that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Five and a bit stone. I've oh, lost. well yeah, done, so, yeah. yeah. How do you feel? I feel great, actually. And it's just like, it's been uh, calories. That's all I've done. I've tried every diet in the world, right? Because yeah. I've always been fat. And it's a word <laughs> that everybody avoids, but it's fat, right? So. I thought, I've got to do something. I was having trouble washing, I was having trouble getting to the top of the stairs. And my mental health hasn't been fantastic in the last six years, and I talk about that a lot on the radio as well, because I think even... You can go out and do stuff with charities and, and everything yeah. like that, but until you demystify it and say, I have mental health issues, I am on tablets for it, I... I'm out there, I, and I'll tell you anything yeah. about it. It's not a problem. Looks lovely. You have the happiest I, eyes, yeah. doesn't he? You? you look really great and really happy. You've been one you of really my most do. favourite guests of all time. Thank you so no, much thank for coming you. on so the show. Lovely to meet you. Really lovely to meet you. Cry. Um, 